And this experiment is used to interface uh, two LEDs with the Raspberry Pi 3B plus model and to display the binary numbers from 0 to 3. That is, it displays 0001011. 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 1, 1. The components required to conduct this experiment are a Raspberry Pi 3B plus uh, model board, uh, light emitting diode of two numbers, HDMI to HDMI cable, and uh, one power adapter, display, um, and keyboard, mouse, jumper wires, and breadboards. So these many components are required. So in the circuit diagram, uh, we have to connect to two LEDs um, through uh, using two resistors. Um, the, the anode of the first uh, uh, LED, it is connected to pin number seven of Raspberry Pi and uh, cathode is connected to ground pin and uh, anode of the second LED is connected to pin number uh, 11 of Raspberry Pi and the uh, cathode is connected to ground. And uh, how to check the pin numbers uh, in the Raspberry Pi, I'll show you now. The pin numbers uh, which are uh, towards the raspberry, raspberry Pi board, they are odd number of pins and the pin numbers which I am showing here these uh, which are away from the board, they are even number of pins. So you have to count the pin numbers like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. So these pins are odd number of pins. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 and so on. These numbers are even number of pins. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 and so on. Now in my uh, uh, experiment, no, an anode of first LED is connected to pin number 7. How you count 7? Pin number 1. 3, 5, 7. To this pin, we are connecting an anode of the first LED. And the anode of the second LED is connected to pin number 11. How to count? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 9, 11. So pin number 11, uh, we should connect it to the anode of the second LED. And ground is 14th pin. So how to uh, count the 14th pin? Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This is our ground pin. So in this way, uh, you have to count the pin numbers properly and do the connection. So after doing connection, uh, we have to uh, enter the program in a Raspberry Pi. How to, uh, um, first I will explain the program. Later, um, I'll show, the, show you the connection uh, diagram, connection, how to do the connection with Raspberry Pi, then result. So in this code, the first line is import RPI GPIO as GPIO. This line imports the RPI GPIO library, uh, which is Python library. Uh, GPI, it is a Python library and it is used to control general purpose input output uh, pins on the Raspberry Pi. So what is Raspberry Pi? It is a small board computer and it is often used for hardware interfacing and controlling the external devices. Next is second line, import time. This line imports the time module, which provides various time related functions, including uh, sleep, the, uh, uh, sleep, the, uh, sleep that pauses the program's execution for a specified number of seconds. Next is GPIO set mode, GPIO dot board. So this line, sets the GPIO numbering mode, mode to board mode. There are two types of mode, board mode and a BCM mode. In this program, we are selecting board mode. So board means in this mode, GPIO pins are referred to the uh, actual physical pins, which are available on the Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi board. If you select BCM mode, then uh, we should use GPIO pins, not the physical pins. So that is the meaning of GPIO dot board. Next is a GPIO dot set warnings false. So this line disables GPIO warning messages. It suppresses any warnings that might ar arise during the execution of the code related to the GPIO operations. Next, the uh, LED one equal to seven and LED two is equal to 11. These two lines uh, uh, defines variables LED one and LED two and assign them the values 7 and 13 respectively. 
These numbers correspond to the physical GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi board and that will be used to control the LEDs. Next is GPIO dot setup LED1, comma GPIO dot out, out uh, GPIO dot setup uh, uh, LED2, comma GPIO dot output. These two lines. So these lines configures GPIO pins defined earlier. So LED1 and LED2 as output pins. This means that these, these pins will be used to send signals to the uh, signals to uh, control the external devices. What are the external devices we are using? Two LEDs in this case. Next is while one loop. So uh, always for while one uh, uh, put a coolant here. So this in, uh, initiates an infinite loop. The program will keep running the code within the loop indefinitely. Next, GPIO dot out LED one comma zero, GPIO dot output LED com two comma zero, and uh, next is time sleep one. So these lines turn off both the LEDs. Zero means turning off the LED one, turning off the LED two, by setting their respective GPIO pins to uh, low signal zero, and it pauses the program execution for one second. So time sleep means it will create one seconds of time delay and using time dot sleep one effectively keeping the LEDs off for that duration. And next LED one comma GPIO dot output LED one comma zero GPIO dot output LED two comma one. So the first LED is turned off, the second LED is on and this condition remains off and on for one second of time delay. Okay, next uh, uh, again, uh, we are making LED1 high and LED2 low for one second. And in the similar fashion, LED1 is also on, LED2 is also on for, on for one second. So in the last case, both the LEDs are on. So the loop uh, then continues to repeat uh, these LED state, uh, state changes indefinitely because we have written a while one loop. So this is the uh, uh, explanation of a program line by line. Okay, so now we will do an experiment. Today in this video, we are displaying binary numbers using Raspberry Pi. The components required are Raspberry Pi, keyboard, mouse, breadboard, two LEDs, jumper wires, display and HDMI cable and USB for mouse and keyboard and an adapter. Now we'll do the connection. First we'll connect the adapter. The adapter, it is a C type and you can connect here. Next we'll connect the HDMI. For display, and another end of HDMI to the Raspberry Pi. Now we'll on the supply. When we on, the LED will glow here. Here, a green color and a red one. For, D, for DC, we are using USB cable. Here, we are connecting here, DC. And the another end of the DC is connected to... USB is connected here. USB cable of mouse is connected to the USB section of the red and the keyboard USB port is connected here. 
now the connections are over to display binary numbers from 0 to 3 we are using two leds positive negative the anode and cathode here the cathode and here anode now the cathode of two leds will go to the ground of a raspberry pi pin number 11 14 sorry 14 anode of first led will go to pin number of uh, pin number 7 of raspberry pi and another second led cathode will anode will go to the raspberry pi's pin number 11 LED 1 is connected here to the pin number 7 okay. of Raspberry Pi. Ground is connected to the pin number 14, sorry, pin number 11 of the Raspberry Pi. Ground to the pin number of 14 of Raspberry Pi. LED 2, LED two for 11. This is the connection diagram. Now the display is on. Use your mouse. Click on terminal. Now, now we should type CD desktop. After that we should click enter. Now to give the program name we should type nano. program name 1 dot py enter as explained earlier you have to type the prog program like this so to execute the program you should click on run after typing the program you should to save the program you should press this control x plus y enter so this display will be open after this to run the program you should type python space program name is binary one dot py enter Now the display is shown in the LEDs. So this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Again it will go to 0, 0. <laughs> so this Raspberry Pi is working as the computer. It uses keyboard, mouse and the display and it's showing the binary numbers from 0, zero, zero to 011 zero, uh, one, one. thank you